The SNARE server provides a web-based user interface that allows you to view a high-level overview of log patterns and also provides the ability to quickly drill down to the raw log data. It comes with a range of predefined reports. In SNARE we actually call these objectives. These predefined objectives give you a quickly working system straight out of the box, but SNARE also allows you to craft custom objectives to meet the needs of your organisational security strategy. Starting from the left hand side we have reports relating to system security such as account administration, login activity or file access. Application related reports that interrogate log data from IIS, Apache, Squid, email servers or generic syslog sources. Firewall, router, switch and related network infrastructure analysis including vulnerability assessment engines and network intrusion detection tools. User and group authorization and system access control validation. System health and general overview statistics snare agent management, and general administrative tools. As well as monitoring events live as they come into the snare server, snare can monitor configuration data grabbed on a daily basis from snare agents, Cisco routers, Lotus Notes, or other related services. In addition, the clonable queries area provides you with a very flexible query builder, which will allow you to create objectives that are tailored exactly to your internal organisational requirements. We'll look at this area in more detail later, but let's explore some of the pre-existing reports first. We'll start off with some of the very generic reports, such as the Total Events Plotted Objective, which provides you with a general overview of the ebb and flow of log data collection. You'll notice that despite the fact that the actual graph is very generic, Snare will quickly allow you to drill down to the actual raw event log data. As we move out of the status and statistics area, we start to see more targeted objectives that might help us pin down an access violation on a workstation or maybe an attack on one of our web servers. Here's an objective that produces a report on a PIX firewall, for example. You'll notice that our pattern map up the top has a little more variation in it than our previous generic report. That's because we're operating purely on PIX firewall log data at this point in time, whereas the previous report was a consolidation of all log types that came into Snare. We also have an output component added to the report that displays target port information in a horizontal graph, a pie chart of source addresses and a map of what target ports were accessed in the last 24 hours. And of course we can also drill down to the raw log data if we need details at any point. We can also change the configuration of the objective to include or exclude particular events from the final report, things like source or destination address, destination port, event IDs, time periods, packet status or even output components are all things that can be configured to change the behaviour of a firewall related objective. Each of SNARE's predefined objectives have configuration options that are appropriate for the sort of information that the report is trying to present. This one works with the SNARE agents to pull back current user and group data from the domain controller and provides a data owner with the ability to compare an authorised list of users against the current membership of a sensitive group that may control access to payroll or highly classified data for example. As you can see it provides the ability to authorise or deauthorise group members and compare the authorised list against a daily snapshot of the actions of the IT account management team. Some objectives, like this suspicious web requests objective, don't need very complex configuration options, whereas others provide you with a huge amount of flexibility. And that brings us to the clonable queries that we mentioned earlier. Now although Snare comes with close to 200 default objectives to get you up and running, the clonable queries give you the power and flexibility to really customise Snare to your organisational risk items. Some organisations may consider their website to be a critical security resource and are therefore interested in focusing on IIS or Apache related attacks and network intrusion detection system logs. Others are more focused on payroll, human resources or healthcare data and are likely to watch for access to sensitive files on organisational file servers. The clonable queries provide you with the flexibility to turn these security goals into useful, actionable reports from the SNARE server. We can, for example, tell the Snare server to look for events in the last five days. After 5pm in the afternoon. On the system curlew.
that relate to Windows file access events. That include the word payroll somewhere in the directory path. And have the results sorted by date and time. Objectives can be configured to run hourly, daily, weekly and so on. Clonable queries can be also configured to generate real-time reports like the one we saw pop up on the phone before. The reports don't have to be kept inside the IT security cell but can be distributed out to the people who are responsible for the data in question. Snare also has a role-based access control system that allows you to provide interactive access to the Snare server to people outside the IT security area and lock down objectives on a case-by-case -case basis. As I mentioned previously, the Snare server makes it easy to manage the configuration of your agents. You can have different configuration settings for workstations versus servers, file servers versus web servers, back office versus front office or any other combination you can think of. Snare also keeps an eye on the performance of the server for you. The health checker can alert you to problems and it can even watch for surges or drops in order collection volume from particular systems. It also collects useful data that will help the Intersect Alliance team provide you with support in the event that you have problems with your installation.